Welcome to the personal client section of Client Track. To begin in this section, you're going to look at the return status of your clients. You'll notice that at the beginning of the season, every one of your clients will be listed as a waiting client for their status. This is to let you know that your client has not begun to do the tax season with you just yet. As the clients come in, you'll want to switch their status to in progress. You can also list when you've actually received all of the client's information. When you click this checkbox, it will fill out the date of which you recorded this. After such time, the program will then begin actively counting the days of which the client's files have been in this office until you switch the client's status to completed. You can also choose an in-house due date, which gives you a target deadline for when you would like to have this client's files completed. Finally, when you switch the client's status to completed, it will also record the date of which this happened. The majority of this will actually be functioned from the view list option found in the dashboard on the left hand side. In the list view, you're going to find that it will show all of the clients in order by last name. You can sort by any column just by clicking its name, once for ascending, twice for descending, and a third time will clear your sort. By default, some of the columns that are in here may not be showing. If you'd like to see some of these columns, like received all docs, the date of which to receive them, in-house due date, days in progress, file location, and anything else you'd like to modify, you can go to the view hide columns button in the upper left hand portion, and from here, add all the columns you would like to see or remove from this list. One of the first things you're going to want to look at before you really get into your tax season is actually the list of checkboxes here that are found in the client track personal clients list view section. These checkboxes allow you to completely customize the way of which you do your tax season. What you're seeing right now are a default set of steps that we have listed in the client track program. You can completely customize these by going to the button up top that's labeled define process steps. In here, you can swap the order of any of them, change their names, delete them, and add as many checkboxes as you need so that the program matches the way of which you do your tax season. Once you begin filling out these checkboxes, you're also going to notice that there is a colored status bar, which gets darker and darker as you complete all of the different steps of your tax season. After you fill out a checkbox, also note that if you click beside that checkbox in the same column, it will have recorded who filled this out and on what day. The color of the status bar can also be modified by using a little button in the upper right hand corner. It looks like a box with a bubble and an eye in it. This will bring up the following window, allowing you to completely change the color to whatever your preference is. This is specific to the computer you're sitting at. So generally, what will happen is a client will come in, you'll use the find function, type in their name, and this will highlight their name in the system so you don't have to scroll down and find it by hand. You'll then switch the client status to begin the in progress option. Once they've gotten you all their documents, you're going to list that you've received all the documents, and this will record the date. You can then set a target deadline, the program will begin counting the days, and you can even say where you've actually got their physical files within your office, and assign the appropriate user to this particular client. Over the years that you do use ClientTrack, you'll also find that personal clients do get separated into different tax year categories. Once you've worked with ClientTrack for more than one tax season, in the list view, you're going to notice there's this drop-down menu in the upper right-hand corner. This will show all the previous years that you have been using the personal client section. What's nice about this is you can go back to any previous year and let's say run a search for all awaiting client status. So this will tell me immediately that for the year of 2011, these are the clients that did not come to see me. So now you can call them up and try to recapture the lost revenue from the previous season. You can do any searches as well based on the statuses within the program and also the in-house due date target deadlines by clicking the advanced search button in the upper left and then simply combining your search options to get what you're looking for. Lastly, one thing about this section is if you notice that a client's file is on hold, let's say, and you'd like to know why. If you click the client's name, it brings you right to that client's file. So then you can look at either their notes section, the more info tab, or the client's scratch pad found in the upper right hand corner 
to see why they're on hold and maybe take care of the issue and then get back to it. One final thing to note about the client's profile is anything that is left in the client's scratch pad stays with the client's file of that year. So this information does not get carried forward when the file is copied to the next tax season. If you'd like information to be carried forward every season with your client's information, you'll either want to leave it as part of the information in the More Info tab, or edit the client's file, go to the Other tab, and modify one of these custom fields to fit a need for your office, or throw the information in the Notes section here, which appears right away on the client's file. Thanks very much for watching the Personal Client section.